He's meant to be here by now. This video was actually meant to be a collaboration with Holly, my girlfriend, but she decided to go out for afternoon tea rather than spend time with us and review the Switch. So uh, I'm gonna do something I know that she won't like. Everybody say hello to 17 year old Canvas of Holly. And she is gonna help us through this video. <laughs> What is up everybody? Welcome to a brand new video. It is Master Wolf here with Canvas of Holly. Today I'm gonna basically show you the biggest Nintendo Switch hack I have ever seen. I haven't seen anybody, not one person, tweet about this yet. I've only seen people moan about the issue. And there's there's issues with the Switch, let's be totally honest. This is my favorite console by far. Gave it like a 9 out of 10. Zelda I gave like a 9 out of 10. Absolutely amazing. But there's some weird things that you need to know. So we're going to go through five things you need to know about the Nintendo Switch. First up is the biggest issue and something people are annoyed about but don't think there's a fix for. We're not talking about the left Joy-Con. Yeah, that disconnects every now and then. Big whoop. We're not talking about the stand where if you just push hard enough, it pops off and falls all the way over there. That's not it, no. It is, it is this, and it is this. It's disgusting. So if you don't have OCD, this might not bother you. Two colors, completely opposite colors. It's, it, to you it might look great. Uh, to me, and I think the, the majority of people, it looks absolutely horrible. Why couldn't they have made it so you get to pick one color? You had to get this. There was a secret plan that they actually haven't explained, but I figured out. There is a way to hack this and make this beautiful again, okay? But the way you have to do it is spend 80 pounds. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can basically buy this package of two more Joy-Cons for 80 pounds, or like 75 pounds here in the UK. And there's something huge that you should notice here. Can you see it? Can you, can you see it yet? Comment right now if you can see it. I'm gonna give you like five seconds. What is amazing about this. Boom, there we go, look at that, they are actually opposites. So you can make it not rage inducing. Look at this, this looks like a happy blue puppy. This is how it was meant to be, not stupid Joy-Con stupid colors. Look at how amazing this neon color looks. So there is a way to fix it, but you've gotta pay 80 pounds. Obviously the gray one looks amazing anyway. Literally, tell me which one now looks the best. Gray, neon red, or all neon blue? I'm actually going with all neon blue. But I mean the way that they did the gray was great and that looks lush this now looks Correct if I was to swap these round now people would be like what the hell are you doing? That looks ridiculous This is how it's meant to be Nintendo don't make us spend 80 pounds and buy another set of joy There's no games you can even play people with really with another set of joy cons except snipper clips But that only requires two joy. It doesn't even require a new set of joy I've literally had to get that to make this color and, and that's about it. But we fixed the issue and that is probably the biggest hack, the biggest Nintendo cheat you were ever gonna see. Personally though, on a little side note, I actually prefer the gray switch, which is Canvas Hollies. So since she's not here, she won't really mind. She hasn't even, I just opened this. I got this for her like three days ago. She hasn't even played it yet. I'm gonna put this back and see how long she's noticed that this has not been there for because I literally think for a week she's not gonna play it until she's like, hey, I'm gonna play it and it's not gonna be there. The second thing that annoys me that people have been going on about is these Joy-Cons. Now, if you actually watch the live stream when I first unboxed the Switch, I did this. I literally did this. I think I've got the wrong one on the wrong one there. <laughs> the first thing we've done is put a Joy-Con uh, together the wrong way and I haven't read a manual because I don't really read manuals uh, so I don't know how to take this off. People have been getting these okay so you're meant to match up the plus with the plus and they slide on with a fair amount of ease and they slide off with a fair amount of ease but loads of people have been doing it the wrong way round uh, and just been getting it completely confused so ex example it starts to look like that and you get this weird kind of jagged area and people have been freaking out. People have made videos trying to pick it off with their nail and they've ended up breaking a nail and they're saying, I'm gonna sue Nintendo. That's your fault for using a nail. Those are the repercussions. You can see the nail there from trying to pull it off. Um, this is probably gonna happen to a lot of people. People have been pulling at this. You're not meant to pull at this. They've been trying to pull it off. People have been hitting it. Guys, chill. If this is done like this, it is so simple to get off. The reason people have been ruining their Joy-Cons is this isn't meant to be pulled outwards. That's not how you put it on. This isn't meant to go upwards. It's meant to come downwards. Literally press the button in, hold it, and just apply a bit of force. It comes straight off. No worries, just turn it round. 
Don't make YouTube videos slagging it off. It's your dumbass fault for putting it the wrong way around. Look at it. It's absolutely fine. I can put it on that way as many times as I wanted, and I can get it off as many times as I wanted. It literally isn't a problem. Chill. The next thing is the big news about these. Now, I'm not talking about the games itself, but the game cartridges. No. The game cartridges. So these things have apparently been coated in some kind of weird thing. And I've seen on the internet loads of places and loads of people licking them, putting them in their mouth because apparently they taste hideous. So I've actually used this game quite a lot. It's been in and out of the Switch like 10, 20 times. So we're going to see if that's worn it off. We've got Legend of Zelda here uh, that's obviously canvas hollies. And believe it or not, it's not even, it's not opened. It confirms it. She hasn't even opened the one game I bought for her. Oops. So let's see, does it taste any different when you've actually used the game a few times to compare to a new one? I've not even tasted it yet, so I don't know what this is going to taste like. So here we go. This is the new cartridge. This is the old cartridge. They don't taste different. Oh! Oh! That's gross! Oh! That was way worse! Oh! What about the back? Oh! Oh my god! The back of them! I'm not even jo- I thought this was a joke! Ah, oh, when my editor told me about this, I thought he was joking! That is, have you tasted one of these? No. Now, I know this is sick just to look at, you don't even have to taste it. The fact that this is one of the four or five launch games. Adam, come, come, come try it, come try and taste, taste, taste that. Let me know what you think. Both, the back end is the worst. How gross is that? <laughs> That's like nail polish! <laughs> Worse than vodka. It is literally the most horrible. <laughs> it gets to the top of your mouth too. Mm. And the back. And the back. I mean, fair play to Nintendo for actually doing that. It's going to make a huge difference. Um, and it's going to make loads of kids not put these in their mouth. But it's actually done the opposite because all the grown ups have put them in their mouth to see what they taste like. So well done, Nintendo. That is disgusting. Fourth, let's just talk about the product itself and some of the issues we've had with it. Now, I've already shown you guys that these. Are rubbish. These kickstands here are rubbish. Not only is the the angle that it's at really, really awkward. My table is actually pretty high up, so that is not too bad. Why can this not like the Surface Pro bend? Because literally, the littlest bit of force on this. Look at the flex in that. It just, it just is absolutely rubbish. And obviously, it's meant to be put in quite easily. It's not the easiest thing to put in. Except that time it was very easy. And it's just not the best kickstand I've ever seen. I've seen so many better ones. You can't charge it while it's obviously down. So if you are playing like that, you can't charge it. What, Nintendo? The Joy-Cons do have disconnecting issues, but that's not the biggest issue. Um, it's kind of where this analog stick is placed. Now, you've heard this a lot. This analog should be here. These should be here. Same as the Wii U. It, it's not too bad. I have big hands, okay? I have really big hands. But I have to play like this. Sometimes I even move down and have to like, I have to completely, I don't hold it like you should, like so. I have to hold it like, like, I don't even know. Like I hold it downwards and sideways a little bit just so that I can get my thumb on here. The main reason is your thumb naturally travels like that where this is not working for it because it's up and down. This on the other hand is absolutely fine. My thumb travels naturally left and right rather than this awkward movement. You need one of these if you have a Nintendo Switch. Next up is just all of the parts. I mean, if we just take take away, let's say a, two, a Nintendo per family, but let's go here with two Nintendos, uh, one for me, one for Holly. Just look at all of the parts that we can get together. If I just take everything out, I mean, this is literally, this is literally not a joke. And then there's another one of those somewhere. I don't know where it is. Look at all of this. I have never seen a game console launch with so much stuff. Like, it's just a mess. And we've already lost one of these. We've lost one of these somewhere. We had to go and get another one. This thing is flimsy as anything and, you know, doesn't... It's, it's just not... It's... It's really flimsy. It's just really flimsy. People have been moaning as well that when you actually dock your Switch into here that it scratches your screen. If you're doing that, you're just doing it wrong. There is no way that this is gonna scratch your screen properly. It's even got soft rubber inside it. I don't know how some people are causing some of these issues to their Switches, because some people have like the biggest scratches ever. I'm like, there is no way this little dock has done that 
to your Switch. There is no way. But the biggest annoying thing, now this video might make it sound like I have an issue with the Switch. I love it. It is my favorite thing ever. Nintendo, you've done an amazing job. Everyone should get one. But at launch, a console should work. Completely, it should just work. It hasn't. Check some of these out. This is this is crazy. I don't think my Nintendo Switch is supposed to be doorbells. My Nintendo Switch experience today. Just gonna turn this off now. Can't even turn it off. Now you're probably gonna ask, oh, have you had any of these issues? Well, I've not had the left Joy-Con disconnecting. I've not had that. I have put this in backwards, but you can just take it out. Don't be stupid. I haven't scratched this, even though I've used this for about three weeks now. I've used this longer than 99.9% .9 of people on this earth, and it is fine. I've not scratched it. It's absolutely fine. People have been saying that the battery on them is not long enough. The battery is fine. If you can't go three hours without finding a charger, where are you? Just find a charger. It's three hours. That's a long time. But one thing that has happened to me and I really didn't want it to and I didn't want to mention it was this little device has frozen on me two times. It's super quiet when it runs. It doesn't get hot. There's no issues. But we've had it before where we've put it into the dock and taken it out for something else while it loads. It just freezes, makes a noise like you saw in the earlier videos. It wasn't anything catastrophic. I've not had any huge issues and it works fine 99% of the time, but we still shouldn't have that issue with this. I tried charging it with my USB-C devices as well. It does charge it, but it doesn't charge it at a fast enough rate for this uh, to stay at a constant battery level. It still does deplete slowly, but it still does deplete. So once someone makes one of those, that is gonna be a game changer for this thing. Cause I don't mind if I have to attach something big on the back, cause this is tiny for me to carry around to be totally honest. Hopefully they're gonna do that soon and that's gonna fix the battery issue if you have a battery issue. So let's recap, okay? These issues are not big issues. The one issue that is big is if your Nintendo system is literally screwing up and you can't play it. That is a big issue Nintendo should sort out. The kickstand, you put it back in, they've done that by design. Really well done, Nintendo. The colors, yes, very annoying, but also a very smart way to buy you another one. And you're probably gonna buy a second Joy-Con controller set. So as long as you get the colors, it looks great. This looks fabulous, this looks fabulous. This looks fabulous now, and this is actually the best controller I have ever used. The whole controller situation seems to be sorted. I've not had any left Joy-Con disconnections since the update. I must state that before I did have one, I've not had any since the update, so hopefully that has been fixed. Battery life, just get yourself a charger. Really, really easy. And if you're scratching with this, just put like a soft paper towel over this top, very soft bit of plastic that apparently is scratching your screens. It, and just be careful. Don't drag it out sideways, up and down. That should solve every issue you have with the Switch. So let me know. Do you agree, disagree? Does this sort it all out for you? Because it does for me. Until next time, guys, from the both of us, kind of. Peace out. Everybody, say hello to canvas. Let's play Switch. <laughs>